everyone, welcome back to my video. I'm Harisha and we are here today to do your love reading. So today we are going to talk about your destined partner. Who are you going to marry? What will they be like? What is going to be the relationship re uh, uh, like? Sorry. And the most important thing, have you met them already? So according to Tarot, we are going to find out a prediction. Uh, I have four piles for you to choose from. Uh, it's Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, and Ace of Wands. Pick a pile you feel called to. The timestamps are in the description box below. You can choose from your intuition. You can choose from the image. You can choose from the symbols on the card. You can choose just with what you feel like will be your reading. So before a further ado, let's get started. pile number one if you pick the card of ace of swords this reading is for you so ace of swords is already a card of being a very talkative person being a very uh, spontaneous person maybe you are interested in people like that you love people who are just in love with new things in their life they love talking they love communicating they take care a lot and most importantly they are always ready with a solution to whatever problem that's come, that comes up. Okay, so that is your theme card. Let's find out what the tarot cards have to say about your person. So first we are going to find out how will you meet them? So I know all of you are interested in knowing whether have you met them already or not. But that is towards the end of the pile, so stay tuned. Okay. I have the cards the Devil, Six of Pentacles, and Ace of Wands. Wow, another ace in your reading. Okay, so I'm sensing that you meet this person when you are at a low point in your life. Uh, probably you might have already met them, but this is just the story I'm giving. Um, maybe they helped you out financially, maybe they were your support or they will be your support when you feel very low in life and that is how this person magically appears for you. Possibly this person can be your twin flame, possibly this person can also be your soulmate. Um, apart from that, what I'm really sensing is you both will be connected instantly, there will be so much of magnetic attraction. There will be so much love at a very high speed. It's not going to go slow. It's going to be very quick. And that's going to just make you fall crazily in love with this person. And likewise for them. Um, I'm sensing that they are going to be somebody who will be helping you out in some way or the other. And they genuinely would want to see you grow. They genuinely want would want you to give life a new chance and that is what will click between you two let's find out how would they look like what are the per their personality signs you know i have the king of cups the tower and the nine of cups okay so your person might be short tempered and I'm, I'm sorry if that's not one of your criteria. Nobody has that criteria. Yes, so your person might be short tempered. They will be very much of a charmer. They would know how to flirt in and out. Even if they are with you, there is a possibility that they would like to talk to other people, other girls or other men and <clears throat> they will be really, really ready with their emotions you know wearing their heart on their sleeves all the time always ready to help people always ready to charm people always ready to be the life of a party so all these are simple uh, signs and symbols which might resonate also the person would have all the traits you like in your life partner with the nine of cups here the person would have all the traits you want in your life partner because nine of cups is the card of wish coming true 
So this is what I'm really sensing. With the Tower card, I, I feel two things that they are probably really short tempered and other, they'll just sweep you off your feet. And that is one of the most important signs for you of whether have you met that person already or not, or whenever they come in contact with you, you will immediately come to know because for you, it will be like you will be attracted from day one and then things will start working out. Okay, let's find out what your relationship will, with this destined partner would be like. I have Ace of Pentacles, the High Priestess and the King of Swords. Very beautiful cards. So I'm sensing you are one of those people who wants a perfect relationship. You want everything very much perfect in your relationship, which is a little bit hard to attain. And that is why you always wait for the other person to give efforts first, which is also difficult, even though the other person is very much of open to this whole idea of love, of moving forward in such a quick relationship. You will have to be a little bit careful with your emotions. You will need to open up. You will need to talk to them about how you feel, what you feel and everything else. Um, with the Ace of Pentacles, I'm sensing that they would really be interested in being a business partner with you also. So probably when you start your journey of life, both of you would be together into some sort of a venture or startup or probably you might also be working together in a job and that is where this whole thing sparks off. And with the High Priestess card, um, your relationship will always be filled with mystery. It's always going to be, there's still something you don't know about each other. It's going to be so immersive that you would love each other so much that you will constantly keep on falling in love with little, little parts of them, the way they smile, the way you smile for them, it would be the same thing. Um, how you eat, how you dress up, little, little things will be so important in your relationship. It's going to go great. It's going to go wonderfully. There will be challenges, but the only challenges that will come up will, will be in regards to communication um between you and your partner because your partner would love to talk about things to you but you are a person who doesn't open up that easily so i think you need to adapt to those things as well and last but not the least okay i think i'm done with tarot here i will just take out some oracle cards okay so first up we have the turn of time deck if you're uh New to this channel, this is my very own deck, the Turn of Time deck. It is for everybody who is a reader as well as a non-reader. It's a universal guidance deck. Um, it comes with a guidebook so you can get messages for your situation anytime you want. You can check out the description box below if you like the cards and you want to order one. Let's see what guidance do I have for you. Oh, I have the card Change Perspective. This card is something which has really um, come up a lot in so many of the readings because personally I believe that people don't know the idea of a healthy relationship. Little bit heavy energies. Okay, so I think that Change the Perspective might be for you to change uh, some bit of expectations from your destined partner. Maybe you want things in a very, very particular way and the universe is mostly asking you that, you know, you should open up to other ideas also because probably the person you are looking for will have somewhat of a different personality than what you expect. So that can be one of the most important signs in your relationship. Let's get some crystal messages. It's not crystal message actually, it's crystal medicine oracle, yes. So more about remedies, more about feeling, understands. Okay, I have one card already. I am presence. Oh, wow. I'm thinking that you're very much of an overthinker, very much of a person who... Um, 
doesn't really know what kind of things, what kind of uh, beautiful ideas you want in your life. You are very much confused with what is going to happen next. When will you find your partner? If you already have a partner, you would be wondering, is he the one or is she the one? And always looking forward for answers that, you know, what is going to happen next? So the universe is asking you to stay in the present moment. Stay in this vibration. You are going to attract what is meant for you, what is meant in your destiny. Just relax and take some deep breaths. Right? Okay. Next up, we have the mermaid messages. Let's find out what guidance do the, these mermaid messages have for group number one. Okay. For group number one, I have waiting. I am sensing that you are constantly waiting for your person and your person is waiting for you. But this makes so much sense. If you are mindful enough, this waiting period will slow down on its own. It's going to reduce on its own. So please be very, very relaxed. Don't wait for your partner desperately or don't wait for a positive situation in your case. If you're already committed desperately because things will happen in its own divine timing you need to shift your focus a little bit so that the resistance that has been created by your thoughts will release somewhat right and last but not the least we are going to do the final question have you met them already so let's find out have you met your destined partner already it will make your life so much easier okay Take a deep breath along with me. Have you met your partner already? It's a yes. There is a 80% chance that you have already met the person who is supposed to be your destined life partner. So just now start thinking who are they? And it's going to make a little bit easier if you don't have anyone in mind just take notice of all the people you've met around in the last three four years and how these signs connect with you in that uh, manner so yeah that's all what i have for you in this reading i hope you guys enjoyed the reading and if you did please make sure to like this video subscribe to my channel and comment down below whether this reading was fun for you or not. Please share it with your friends and family if somebody you know is also so much impatient about their destined life partner. Um, with that being said, please make sure to follow me on Instagram. I give out free consultations for crystals. I You can approach me there for uh, personal readings also. And of course, I share my daily bit of knowledge there into the world of spirituality. So please make sure to connect with me there. If you want a weekly horoscope every week, please make sure to join my newsletter. The details are in the uh, description box below. It is an email list. You can subscribe. And on subscription, you will be entitled to a minimum discount of 15% on all my products and services for, for the time till you are already subscribed to my list. Alright, so that's all what I have for you today. I hope this is fun. Uh, I really enjoyed doing your reading. It has been an honor reading your cards. Thank you so much for your time. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hello and everyone, welcome to your reading. Everybody who picked pile number two, this beautiful card of Ace of Cups. Now, Ace of Cups is a card of emotional fulfillment, of joy, of limitless happiness because as you can see this cup is overflowing so possibly you're going to have a relationship which is attracting a lot of emotional peace happiness mental health and a lot many things so that can resonate with you let's clarify this whole purpose with tarot cards so the first thing i want to find out is how are you going to meet this person or how will your paths uh, cross roads let's find out I have the Knight of Pentacles, I have Ace of Swords, and I have the Fool. Oh, so I am sensing that this can be an arranged marriage situation, uh, possibly where somebody brings in a proposal for you and you like the person and you go for them. 
but I'm sensing that it's going to be a little bit of a slow journey initially. And then once you uh, meet each other, it's going to be so quick, so fast. It's going to just turn your whole life around and you're going to begin a new journey within no time. <clears throat> so yes, I am sensing an arranged, arranged marriage kind of a situation where you meet each other through family or through friends. You know, somebody tries to set you up. That is the correct energy I'm sensing here. Knight of Pentacles is again a slow card, but it is a card of forward movement. So possibly a person is somewhat hesitant initially to, you know, go for a set up marriage or something which is um, very quick, right? So that is my initial outlook. Let's see what their personality, their looks will be like. We have three of swords, very emotional. Knight of swords, wow, and nine of pentacles. Okay, very, very foundation, uh, financially sound person. Their foundation will be quite strong. Like they will be clear about their ethics and morals is the key point here. And with the Knight of Swords, I'm sensing that they will be very much quick to take decisions, very practical, very log logical, along with being emotional. There will be no in-between for, for them. Maybe they will be quite moody also, but they are very emotional in one moment. They're very practical in the other moment. And it's like a huge roller coaster ride for both of you. So I think that uh, your person is very loving. Your person is very... Uh, much connected to you in the future but the only problem will be that both of you have an energy where you want to just do things of your own choice so if you both don't compromise that can be a little bit of a compatibility issue let's find out what the relationship will be like with this person it's queen of pentacles i have queen of swords makes so much sense and king of pentacles this makes so 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 much sense why because i'm constantly getting swords and pentacles cards so one of you will be very much connected to themselves very much calm very much sober very much of um simple lifestyle somebody uh who's having a very simple lifestyle and the other one wants to win the world like right away so it's going to be like poles apart kind of a relationship where both of you will be constantly trying to, you know, adjust each other's boundaries and work on it and making this relationship a strong one. I don't see a negative aspect here. I just see that both of you are so different from each other that the only problem here would be compatibility and understanding and adjustment between the both of you. So you have to be prepared for that. I'm going to clarify this reading with uh, Oracle cards. So I have the turn of time deck. If you are new to my channel, this is my own universal messages deck. Um, you can get one for yourself. The details are in the description box below. And also you can just um, DM me on Instagram. Okay, this is for reader as well as non-readers. So anybody can use this oracle deck. Okay, I already have the message. Advice. Yes, maybe somebody advises you uh, to meet somebody and, you know, go forward for arranged marriage kind of a situation. And that is when you meet this person. Another thing can be that possibly that per this person comes in your life because you somehow just toggle up to them for some kind of an advice that is where they will come up with and last thing would be that probably you would need somebody else's opinion on this relationship as in when you find it difficult so all these messages can resonate with you in your journey uh we are going to do crystal oracle and mermaid messages next then after i'm going to find it out for you whether have you already met this person or not okay so the card I have for group number two is healer. I think the person who, who I talked about being very simple or being very down to earth, 
I sense that they will be some sort of a healer. They will be some sort of a guidance to people around. And that is why this person feels very much attracted to uh, this relationship. It can be you. It can be them. If you're a healer, you're attracting a person who will have a very vibrant energy. And if you are one of those, you're attracting somebody who's very down to earth, who knows how to channel their energy, who knows how to heal people, who knows how to take care of each other, who knows how to take care of finances also. So that is also there. Okay. Mermaid messages. Next. One guidance for pile number two. Mystery. I think that this person is going to feel like a lot of work, a lot of chaos because um, if you are the healer, this person will pretty much feel like you would never know them completely. And if it is the other way around, they might feel this for you. So with time only, you can discover the characteristics of the person you're going to be with, how much time you give each other, how much understanding you are with the person. That is only going to derive this relationship because setting a strong foundation is very important in your relationship, I'm sensing. And another thing, the mystery card is that uh, possibly you haven't met this person yet and they will just mysteriously unfold in front of you that, ooh, this is my life partner kind of an energy. Okay. Last but not the least, we are going to find out a yes and no reading for have you already met this person or not. Take a deep breath with me. Okay, so the answer is yes, it is the nine of pentacles. I'm sensing that yes, you've already met your person and possibly uh, either you've met them or this person is just about to enter in your life. This is the kind of energy I'm getting. If you're already in a committed relationship, this means that yes, this definitely can be the person who you are destined to be with. And if you're single and the person you are to be with uh, it has already entered your life in some way or the other, entering your life doesn't always mean that you have met them. It can also mean that they are in communication with someone around you and very, very soon they're just going to appear in front of you. So all these messages can resonate in your situation. But uh, Comment down below and let me know how fun was this reading for you. That's all what I have for you today. I hope you liked your reading. If you did, please make sure to like this video, comment your thoughts, and of course, subscribe to my channel as it is a great way of supporting free tarot if you're on YouTube. Um, with that being said, please follow me on Instagram. It is my spirituality platform. You can connect with me there. You can be a part of my community with Neophilia Core community. You can join the members list, email list, which entitles you to minimum 15% discounts on all my products and services. And of course, free horoscope every week. Um, also, you can get in touch with me on Instagram for free crystal consultation. What kind of crystals you should wear, how to take care of crystals and everything about crystals. And also you can DM me there for a personal reading or to just buy this beautiful deck. All right, that's all what I have for you today. It was an honor reading your cards. I hope your time was worth here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hello and everyone, welcome to your reading. Everybody who picked pile number three, this beautiful card of Ace of Pentacles. I'm sensing that you're a very grounded person and you love living your life on your goals. You're very realistic and very minimal goals as well. Um, if you are with these uh, personalities, then this reading is for you. Or you're attracting somebody with all these personalities as your distant life partner. Let's clarify with the tarot cards. We are going to do the reading first and the end of the reading we are going to find out um, have you already met this person or not. So stay tuned till the reading gets finished. Okay, let's find out how are you supposed to cross paths with this person or if you've already um, met somebody who feels like that your life partner, then what did these things happen or not? Okay, so first one is three of wands. 
two of wands and last is eight of pentacles okay okay i think you're uh i think you're very much waiting for this person to show up possibly you want to just uh settle down very quickly you're constantly looking for a life partner going on dates enrolling on social media dating sites or asking your friends to hook you up with somebody or you know just um going through with the flow of your parents for an arranged marriage kind of a situation i'm sensing the longer sorry i'm sensing the faster you want to get settled down the longer it's going to take to find your person um but with that being said said the person will be very much focused on their own goals on their own growth on their career they will be very much skilled with some sort of an expertise in their own field this is what i'm sensing um both of you will have very similar energies very growing energies very beautiful energies of working towards something that brings in a lot of financial success and also stability in your lifestyle so i think that is one of the main goals for both of you that's going to be similar um both of you would somewhere be interested in having a business or a startup this is also something that can stand true uh let's find out what are uh, what is the personality going to be like hmm somewhat of an organizer a very persistent person and of course this person is going to be lucky for you okay with the seven of swords i'm sensing that they are someone who like doing things in a structure not in a half hazard way um they would want you to also follow the same that you know do things properly do things in a much more simpler much more classic way and not just mess it all up uh with the nine of wands i'm sensing that they are somebody who um who just want to work on things and not give up on something they know that they are just one step away from their success they know that they are always aligned to their goal and that is why that personality is somewhere going to help you in your own journey of life also with the 10 of uh, sorry with the feel of fortune card uh, your person is going to be very lucky for you when they come in your life things are going to be so much better for you personally financially in your career a lot of success that comes in for you so all these are signs of your story let's see how your relationship with, with this person will be like four of swords then i have Ten of Wands and Three of Pentacles. Okay, so very much of a talkative personality with your partner, and of course, this relationship is going to be a little bit heavy because what both of you have a different outlook towards life, not outlook, different way of living. So sometimes it can be that you might have to adjust. Sometimes they will have to adjust. Both of you will have to work on your compatibility a lot. um your person will be very much of a caring person this relationship is going to teach you guys so much uh, with the four of swords here i'm sensing that this person is very much of a relaxed kind they don't want to overwork themselves exhaust themselves while you are something who just wants to work 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 and just make things right whereas both of you need to come into an equilibrium where they have more productivity and you just relax a little bit mm. with that being said there will be a lot of healthy communication with the three of pentacles both of you are very easily going to find out uh, the compatibility points for each one of you okay let's clarify this reading with oracle cards If you are new to my channel this is my own very oracle deck for universal guidance the turn of time deck I'm going to get one guidance for you in this reading if you like this deck you can DM me on Instagram to buy one 
it's for everybody who can read cards or not this deck is anyway going to be helpful in all the situations okay one message for group number three i have the card talk it out wow this is exactly what i said at the end of the reading that both of you will have a very healthy communication very very focused way of talking your communication will be the usb of your relationship so no matter whatever problems come through you will be able to talk it out you will be able to finish it off in terms of very healthy communication so that's a great sign okay one crystal guidance for group number three is rebirth I have the card 21 which totals up to 3. So number 3 can be a sign for you in this relationship. Um, I have the card which says spring. So maybe by next spring, uh, be, uh, right now the spring is gone. Um, by the next spring you will already be with this person. With the card rebirth I am sensing that this is a past life connection. This is a soulmate connection, definitely. That is why this card has come up. So be prepared for a beautiful journey that is to begin with. And of course, I have the Shivalingam uh, imagery here. So maybe you are an ardent fan of uh, or devotee of Shiva and you believe in his energy. So he will definitely be there to guide you into this relationship. All right. Let's find out a mermaid message for this relationship. The card for group number three is blessings. This is very much in line with this card also. Maybe Lord Shiva is already blessing your connection beforehand. Um, if you are connected with somebody who is in, with you in this situation, then you are already blessed by the universe, already blessed by the angels and spirit guides for your connection. So just claim all those energies. All right, let's find out. Have you already met this person or not? Okay, so take a deep breath with me. Release. Has group three already met their person? It's a yes. Most definitely you've already met your person. Your person has entered your life in some way or the other. Number nine can also be very much of a sign for you in this relationship because I have multiple cards of number nine. Mm, number 10 also 1010. Okay, so what I'm sensing is it's not necessarily the person has come in front of you. It can be that they have already come in connection with somebody who's about to, you know, bring them into your life. They've, they've just started entering your life path. That is what I'm sensing. But if you've already met this person, then obviously kudos to you. So I hope this reading was fun for you. Um, that's all what I have for you today. I hope you like the reading. If you like this reading, please make sure to like this video. Comment down below and let me know how did this reading feel, how much did you connect to it and of course please subscribe my channel to support my journey here on YouTube, share it with your friends and family and uh, join me on Instagram at Neophilia by Harisha. You can connect with me there for free crystal consultation and of course uh, you can DM me there to book a personal reading with me. Last but not the least, please join my Neophilia core community. It is my members only arena. If you wish to have more than 15% discount on my all products and services. And of course, free horoscopes every week. So that's all what I have for you today. It was an honor reading your cards. Thank you so much for your time. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hello and everyone. Welcome to your reading. Everybody who picked pile number four. If... Um... You pick this beautiful Ace of Wands card. This reading is for you. Okay, so what I'm sensing here is that your person is going to be very passionate. 
very much bubbly in nature, very talkative. They would have a completely different uh, perspective towards life, which will be very new to you. You would be surprised with how they live their life. So this is somewhat of the theme. Let's clarify this theme with the uh, tarot cards. Let's find out how your paths are going to cross with each other. And by the end of the reading, we are going to do a special card pull to find out, sorry, I have hiccups, to find out whether have you already met this person or not. So stay through the reading. I have three of cups. This person will come in as a friend, definitely soulmate energies and six of swords. Okay, so I'm sensing that this person will definitely come up as a friend for you who will be there uh, to just bond with you eternally because there is a soulmate energy here. So this person was meant to enter your life as a great, great friend. They will also be teaching you a lot of spiritual lessons, a lot of life lessons is what I'm sensing. Um, both of you probably will meet, meet through friends. You'll meet through uh, probably cousins or siblings or somebody of your age. <coughs> Sorry. And the Six of Swords here shows me that you're going to learn a lot with this person. They are going to teach you so many new things in life. You are just going to love what, being around them. You are just going to love being with them. You are going to have some wonderful memories with each other. It's going to be so, so beautiful. Let's find out what their personality will be like. Knight of Wands with the Ace of Wands energy. Ten of Swords. And Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So makes a lot of sense. First of all, there is some sort of a karmic relationship of yours since past life with this person. So initially, the relationship might feel a little bit heavy because both of you will have trouble understanding each other. Uh, your person is very passionate, very easy to take decisions with, very outgoing, very loving. They want to do things very fast. They can't be lethargic. They can't be unproductive. All these signs are in their personality. Also, they will have a very royal heritage, um, very financially stable. Uh, they will respect family a lot. They would love being around with family. They want to spend time with the family as much as they can. This is what I'm sensing. And of course, they will ha they'll be very tall, first of all. They'll be very tall is what I'm sensing. And... Uh, they will have too many passions and hobbies they want to do in life. They want to learn something new every day. They just want to make the most of this life and be very much prepared for what is coming next in their day-to-day -day life also. It's not just like once a month or twice a month. It's going to be every day. So this is something very important. Let's see how your relationship will be with this person. I have five of swords. I have the Sun and the Queen of Cups, which makes again a lot of sense because with the Ten of Swords already I told you that there is going to be some struggle between the both of you because of your pending karmic balance with each other. So the Five of Swords states exactly the same. Both of you will have some sort of uh, uh, initial trouble knowing each other. And with the Sun card and the Queen of Cups, I'm sensing that with time, easily you will be so much in love with each other so much connected to each other so much connected uh, attached to each other's emotions feelings hearts and the love will be so much overflowing because the sun is a card of positivity and the queen of cups is just a card of being connected to each other and helping each other out throughout the life so this is definitely going to be there both of you will have very beautiful kids first of all there is a chance that you have kids quite early in your marriage and uh, the queen of cups also states that one of you will be very emotional either you or the other person will be very very emotional in this journey of this marriage 
Okay, let's clarify this reading with Oracle cards. Everyone who is new to my channel, this is the Turn of Time Oracle, which is created by me for the Universal Guidance. You can get this deck on my Instagram. You can DM on uh, DM there and I'll get in touch with you if you want this deck. It's not necessary to be tarot card reader to read this deck. You can easily do it with the help of a guidebook. Okay, one message for group number four is kind of magic. Look at it. Your person is just going to enter your life in a very magical way. Maybe you are manifesting this person. Maybe you are already having a crush on somebody and you want them to be your life partner and you're manifesting them into being your uh, permanent husband or wife. This is going to be a very beautiful journey. This is going to be a very, very beautiful journey. Oh, I have one card for you already. I have the card challenge number five. Uh, I already said that some or the other uh, way you are going to struggle with being with each other. So I think that that might be challenging. This relationship will be a little bit challenging with all the karmic balance you have with this person. Definitely soulmate energy. So soulmates come into each other's life. They, they uh, pay off their debts from the past life emotionally, mentally, physically, financially, any which way. And that is why this relationship will feel a little bit challenging, a little bit heavy. And, but at the same time, there will be a lot of love, right? After each challenge, there is the sense of achievement. That is exactly the same you need to wait for. This relationship will give you that achievement, will give you that peace, which will give you that wild sense of love, that natural sense of love, which should be there in every other relationship. All right, last but not the least, we have the mermaid messages. Before we find out, have you already met this person or not? So the mermaid guidance I have is... Turn away. Probably this person has already come in your life and you have turned away from them. Take notice of people around you. Was there somebody who was supposed to be your long-time partner, but you turned your back to them because certain situations become became very difficult? Probably this can be one of your exes too. This can be one of those proposals in arranged marriage you've already said no to. So, yeah. Take a note of that. Think about it a lot and if you need some help, you can comment down below and I'll be able to help you. Let's find out whether you've already met this person or not. Probably if you have some person's name in your mind, you will come to know whether you have already met this person or not. Take a deep breath with me. Okay. Maybe you already met this person. The universe is not giving you a clear answer. Seven of Pentacles is a maybe card. So I'm sorry, I cannot clarify it for you. Maybe the universe doesn't want to open up this mystery for you as of now. Probably in some time, probably around June or July, you will be able to figure out who is going to be this person. But yeah, that's all what I have for you today. I hope this was a fun reading and you had a lot of entertainment, knowledge, education, not many things. If you did, if this reading resonates to you, please make sure to like this video, comment down below your thoughts and subscribe to my channel because I really want new subscribers and I'm really here to help every one of you. And last but not the least, please make sure to join my Neophilia Core community. It is my members only arena where you'll be entitled to 15% discounts on all my products and services till the time you are already subscribed to the list. You can also join me on Instagram. Okay, you'll get free horoscopes every week if you subscribe to the list. And you can join my new, uh, sorry, Instagram portal. I give out free crystal consultation there. What kind of crystals do you need? What kind of crystals you should use in order to take care of yourself better? And how to use crystals. I also teach crystal healing and tarot reading. If you're interested, you can DM me there. Um, you can DM me for personal reading or also or to buy this deck from me. 
so that's all what i have for you today it has been an honor reading your cards thank you so much for your time i'll see you in the next one Bye bye